Hello and welcome to Wit AM, a daily look at world, national, and regional news, sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Melanie Herbst. A Sioux City wastewater treatment plant official has pled guilty to manipulating water sample test results to ensure plant discharges into the Missouri River met federal requirements. 63-year-old Jay Nide entered his pleas today in U.S. District Court in Sioux City to charges of conspiracy and falsifying or providing inaccurate information. He is the former superintendent of Sioux City's treatment facility. Nide is the second former plant official to be charged. A middle school science teacher and assistant football coach in the Van Meter School District has been placed on leave for allegedly assaulting a student. Investigators say Joel Bartz confronted a group of students as they were trying to cover his home in toilet paper. Bartz has been charged with assault and criminal mischief. He's accused of tearing one teenager's shirt, then hitting him in the head several times. The extent of the injuries suffered hasn't been released. Legendary rock guitarist Eddie Van Halen has died. His son tweeted that Van Halen lost his long battle with cancer yesterday morning. He had been out of the public eye for some time, which led to widespread speculation about his health again and the status of the band. Eddie Van Halen was 65. The head of the CDC says it's safe for Vice President Mike Pence to take part in Wednesday's debate against VP hopeful Kamala Harris. In a statement, Robert Redfield said the agency determined that Pence isn't considered a close contact with the administration who has COVID-19 including President Trump. Redfield also notes that Pence has continued to test negative for the respiratory illness. Redfield notes that CDC regards someone as close contact as being within six feet of an infected person for at least 15 minutes. When we come back, Jason Moeller will take a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. You rise, this is where you shine, this is where you become the greatest of all time. History in the making. This is history in the making. History in the making. Vote for your life. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Tyler Perry is being recognized for using his platform to help people in crisis. The media mogul is set to receive the People's Champion of 2020 honor at this year's Ease People Cho People's Choice Awards. Perry is being recognized for his humanitarian efforts amid the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent racial unrest. Ease People's Choice Awards will broadcast from Barker Hangar in Santa Monica on November 15th. With all that's happened this year, there's no doubt many wish they could just get off the grid. Well, Hotels.com is making that happen. They're offering a chance to literally live under a rock until after the election. A man-made cave 50 feet underground in New Mexico can now be rented as a vacation home. It's available for five nights from November 2nd to the 7th. The company says political fatigue is real, but this gives someone the chance to relax, recharge, and recover. The booking page goes live Friday morning. Taking a look at today's weather. Today will be sunny with a high near 81 degrees. Tonight will be clear with a low around 46 degrees. And tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 82 degrees and wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. 
Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.